hey you guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing a new two-day extreme motivational cleaning video this family has been running at 160 miles per hour and on these two days with us going to work and getting things taken care of being out and about in the city there hasn't been a ton of things that we've been able to accomplish on my to-do list Creating those spaces for my family that work has worked out perfectly, and today I'm sharing a bit more of that while cleaning upstairs and downstairs. cleaning content such as this video or even uplifting motherhood motivation join our family i'm vantasia i'm 22 and i'm married to my dream high sweetheart jaquin we have three babies and i'll be honest life hasn't always been peaches and cream but maintaining that balance and getting things done is our motive so today i want to share some of that motivation with you guys i really hope you guys enjoy it and you get motivated to tackle some things on your to-do list In our hallway upstairs, we have this plastic dresser that has been with us for about two, almost three years now. We got it from Walmart for, I think, about $10, and it served this purpose in the boys' room, London room, and ours. It's held my Cricut items, clothes, makeup, and even essential oils. But today, I'm going to be reorganizing it once again to fit our lifestyle now. We don't have a ton of space for our hair products, and this is the perfect space for those items, and it'll fit in our closet and won't be in the way. So I'm just going to be reorganizing it and just putting all of our hair products in here. So I moved all of our Cricut vinyl to the white bin. It's worked out a lot better. Before I had so much vinyl in the drawers that they would get stuck when I wanted to open it, causing me to ruin rolls and rolls of vinyl and that didn't make me happy. If you know how much vinyl is, then you know where I'm coming from. I deeply despise ruining it or wasting it. Both London and myself have hair cases, so it was pretty easy finding everything else that we don't use unless it's wash day A home. I put our everyday hair essentials in the top drawer. The second drawer holds our washing and treatment routine products. The third drawer contains anything that goes in our hair following a wash or hair treatment. And last but not least, we have our blow dryer and other essential hair tools. Thank you. 
In Little Miss London's bedroom, this was filmed in the process of setting and decorating her room up, so things will look different. And if you haven't seen the official Decorate With Me video for her room, I'll have it linked down in the description box so you'll see like the blank canvas like before we started. On this day, we were still trying to clean and open up the space for her to play. She originally had a dedicated bookshelf, but we've since moved it to downstairs in our pantry. So today I'm going to give her room a good clean and disinfect, and I wanted to get it clean so Jacqueline could officially hang her TV. We originally wanted to keep London's dresser in front of her window to keep the space open like this, but it wasn't until I realized just to get rid of the bookshelf and use her organizer instead that I really got the look that we wanted. If you want to see how her room looks today, make sure you watch that video because this dresser being here in front of the window, it really does make a huge difference. I love how we have her room set up now versus what I was working with in here before. Whenever you are cleaning with microband or any other disinfectant, you are supposed to let it sit for 10 minutes and then go back through and wipe it down with like a hot warm cloth. That way you can get rid of like the residue. But me on this day, you guys, I was just moving so fast and I wasn't really taking the time to really focus on getting that rag wet with warm water and making sure I was wiping it down. So instead, after the 10 minutes were up and the dresser or the door or even the bookshelf was dry, I just went ahead and sprayed some more microband back on it. But moving forward, I have to remember to make sure I get my rag wet with water just so I can clear off that residue. And if you're like me and you sometimes forget to just stop what you're doing and run to the bathroom and get that rag wet, just go ahead and just soak your rag in some warm water before you even get started because it will help out a ton. That's what I've been doing lately and it has really helped. Here in London's closet, I feel like it really doesn't fit her lifestyle, more so the boys. Since her closet has a ramp because of the staircase, it makes it so hard to really organize her toys with the small space that we do have. I do have future plans to switch things up with our kids' bedrooms, but we're waiting on a few things before we can just do that switcheroo. With me, I like to organize all of our kids' toys in their closets, under their beds, and things like that just to keep it out of the way and we can keep their space open and keep it looking good, honestly. I like a clean space and clutter-free, honestly. But with London's closet being so small, it's really hard to accomplish that, especially with all the big toys that she has. So I am planning to just 
switch the kids bedrooms around i'm really nervous about doing it but i'm really excited too because i know i'm going to get the same look just slightly different or if not better in both of the kids rooms so i'm really excited about getting that done let me know how you guys organize your kids toys or anything that they have in the rooms let me know how you organize it because i know for me i don't like to see any clutter but i want to know where do you guys stand on this So here's what things were looking like done and then Jaquan followed me and he just hung the TV on the wall. We did make some changes because I really did love her dresser being on the other wall so we made some slight changes and don't forget if you want to see that video I'll have it linked down in my description box. Here in the boys room we have only a slight inconvenience I would say and honestly it's not even that. The boys bunk bed is way too big in this space. I mean it's doing its job which is helping our babies get a good night rest but I know that once we add the new bed it'll be like a new room so I'm excited about that. I want to come in here and get some clothes put away, get their bed made and of course clean and organize their closet. We put our new bedding and decor in our boys room and we love the vibe whenever we are in here. This is the first time since Jaden was one years old that he's seen his space like fully decorated. We lived in a one bedroom apartment and Jaden and I shared a room but it was decorated for him and it was Ninja Turtles. Now he's seven with a little brother tagging along who's three and they have been obsessed with the Avengers since Jaden was two almost three years old. So as y'all can see Jonah was seriously born into this and he takes it so 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 serious. So whenever the boys switch rooms, we will be adding more photos and more things that they love. The boys do have my husband and I's dresser. It's too big for our bedroom so we switched with the boys. Even though this has worked out so well and it's getting the job done, we do have other plans that will help maximize the space a tad bit better.
In the boys closet, I try to hang Jaden's school clothes. Since he is in school and he has to wear uniforms now, we like him to change out of that before playing outside. And this way, we can not only make it easy for him to access in the mornings and afternoon, but we can also keep it separated and organized from his everyday clothes. My mom did this for us and then every morning, she even ironed our clothes and made us breakfast. And it was really the highlight of my mornings, knowing I mattered. So both Jaquin and myself try to keep up with that with our babies as well. You might be the one that truly got me I feel it too You might be the one that truly got me I feel it too Got me I feel it too You might be the one that truly So here's the finished result once I was finished with the boys room. We were able to get their clothes put up in their closet, also in their drawers, and then I was also able to get their room clean and organized, and it looks so good. So the next time I come back in here and get some things done, I'll be able to just clean and decorate and just finish it off how I want. Uh -huh. 
In our hallway upstairs, I still have a few things that needed to be done. My husband checked on the air freshener to make sure it was full, so I was good to go on that. And then I just needed to tackle wiping down our walls along with deep cleaning some spots on our carpet. I did share a video recently deep cleaning our bathroom, pantry, and other areas around our home. It was a pretty simple clean along with me while also getting our everyday things done outside of YouTube. It goes along with cleaning and organizing and I know you guys will enjoy it. So if you haven't checked it out, I'll make sure to have it linked down in my description box. Here on the rug upstairs, I wanted to pull out our abyssal. We had a few spots that came about whenever we were potty training that needed to be cleaned ASAP. Jonah was the only one of the three to take his time while potty training, and y'all, we went through like a week straight of accidents and whipping out the abyssal, but I'm so glad we have it for times like this. That way we don't have to pull out our whole carpet cleaner for one small spot. I'm using our abyssal carpet cleaner, and then I'm also pairing it with just some Hoover carpet cleaning solution. So before we made our way downstairs, I wanted to share with you guys what the hallway looks like. There is nothing that I love more than walking up the stairs and seeing a clean hallway, clean bedrooms, and everything just smelling fresh. Downstairs, we're going to be starting in our kitchen. I had to head to work, which is why I'm wearing all black, but I'm going to take you guys along with me to get some things done before I go. And whenever I get back, I'm going to get some cleaning done. But later, I'm also going to be sharing a small grocery haul, so I really hope you guys are enjoying the video. Comment down below, day two, and a girl emoji if you are still here with us. I am sharing my routine before and after work. I work about eight to 10 hours a day, so I at least like to get the kitchen, dining room, and living room clean and organized before I leave. So today I was able to get that done and then I was also able to steam up our floor as well. As together, Getting things done before work is challenging, but it does help me feel better knowing we have a clean home and my husband can just focus on our babies without the added stress of the house being messed up. The way you're touching me around my neck Got chills down my back You do it right The way you're holding me No, I don't want this moment to stop No need to fight it I cannot hide it We won't regret it So come with me, maybe we're meant to be A perfect melody And I don't want this moment to stop
like to make sure I load the dishwasher and wash the dishes anytime I leave and go to work because Jaquin, you guys, I'm going to be honest, he grew up with the dishwasher, so he is just not 100% used to washing dishes by hand. I am because we always have to wash dishes by hand, but so I always like to get this done just so the sink is clean and clear and he does not have to worry about washing the dishes. Let me know down below in the comments if you grew up with the dishwasher. Jake and I, we talk about this all the time, how different we both grew up. But one of the things being is he had a dishwasher and I did it. And, you know, that is a huge thing, you know, because I wash dishes by hand every single day of our life. But, you know, that's okay. But I just want to know, did you grow up with the dishwasher or no? This rack that I love to put our dishes on, you guys, I got it from Target, and I seriously live for this dish rack, you guys. It is seriously so convenient. I don't like to keep it out all the time, but whenever I do keep it out, I just love how it makes the kitchen look aesthetically pleasing. Even whenever you do have dishes on there, it's really cute, and I just love it. Disinfecting and cleaning our sink again with that micro band. I oddly love the smell of this. Let me know if you can relate. But I don't always do a deep clean with the magic eraser because I do give it a vigorous clean every day. And I just don't think it's needed all the time to achieve the shine that we all love to see. I usually just give our kitchen sink a go with cleaning and disinfecting, running our dishwasher, wiping everything down, and I'm usually good to go. If you do your
To clean and disinfect our stove, I am using the same thing, just a micro band. Today, I didn't plan on like deep cleaning our stove, but I did lift the stove up because I saw so many crumbs underneath our stove. So I just wanted to go ahead and lift this up and give it a good clean as well. I honestly didn't even know that the top of the stove lifted up until Jake went with just like, Tasia, I think you can lift this up. And I was like, what? I was so amazed, you guys. So it was a must that I got this done as well. Try to express yourself in your own way And we could have some fun No problems coming in our way I would like you just the way you are And you would like me just the way Let me know down in the comments if you have a stove like this you guys, we went from a gas stove to now an electric stove. And just this one little tiny thing makes me love the electric stove so much more because I originally wasn't happy about the electric stove. I am a gas stove lover, but having this, it is so much easier to clean. I'm so grateful and happy. And you know what? Our food is still tasting good when we use it too. Since I'm not a huge fan of the electric stove top, Jaquen did pick me up some stove top covers from the Dollar Tree and y'all I was so happy because it looks so cute. Moving into our living room, if you've been watching us this past week, then you know that we've since changed it up and added Christmas decor. So this was right before we shared that video, and we only had our Christmas tree up at this point. So I'm going to be getting this area cleaned as well. Y'all, anytime I clean our living room, I always think about what my mama used to say. She would always tell us, if nothing else is clean, make sure your living room is clean, because you never know who would just pop up. So usually I love to start here and work my way through, but today I did it a little different, so I'm excited to just get this area clean and organized too. Since this video, like I said, we've switched up a lot of things. For one, our clock is no longer here. The couch is actually no longer here either. And then I also moved the table to a different area in our living room. 
I have so many different things that I'm going to be doing you guys here in the upcoming weeks. I'm excited to be sharing those videos with you guys. So make sure you guys go back and watch all of our videos whenever we first moved in so you guys can see the start and where we're going to be going in the future because I am excited about all the transformations and the first place we are starting is the living room with painting, rearranging, and just moving things around. You got me begging pretty please I'm so hung up on you I couldn't tell you what it feels like But I sure think you do Where do you go when you glass and up empty? Oh, I wanna know, won't you let me know? Where do you hide when you leave me wasting? Oh, I wanna know Where won't be lovers when we can The TV stand that we have in our living room is from Big Lots. We had it for about a year or two now, and we did originally love the brown, but we're ready to get rid of the traditional farmhouse look. We want something more modern and sophisticated with like my own twist of glam. So the good thing about all of this is we don't have to buy anything new, like new furniture pieces. We can just paint all of this just to get the look that we want. We also originally wanted a fireplace TV stand, but we do love the look of our aquarium, so we'll stick with that. But I do have some ideas for a fireplace, so stay tuned. shared a ton of cleaning motivation and even a family vlog our recent family vlog was my birthday surprise and a mini life update it was very real and raw and i just want to say thank you to everyone who commented and just sent positive vibes y'all really mean so much to me if you haven't seen it but you would like to get up to date on us and our family i'll make sure to link it in my description box down below So once I had these areas clean before I went to work, I just wanted to go ahead and steam up our floors. And then whenever I returned home, we went to the grocery store and I was just able to share like a small grocery haul with you guys of just a few things that we were able to pick up. We haven't done like a full grocery stock up, so that video will be coming soon. But tonight I'm going to be sharing just a small grocery haul.
Okay, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna share like a small haul with you guys because we got quite a bit of stuff. Well, not too much stuff, just a few things. But I have London, come over here, London, in here helping me tonight because we have so much stuff that needs to be done. Look over here, y'all. So we have laundry over here. I have another shelf that I'm gonna put in our pantry over there. And then we also, just a lot of baskets, a lot of things everywhere. Yeah, I, can, I put all of these, I organized all of these stuff too. You organized all of your bracelets and your ponytail holders? Ooh, girl. You even organized it by color. I see you, girl. You can also like lose them too when you go to work. I can use them when I go to work? Yeah. You're so sweet. Over here, I'm sorry, y'all know the lighting is different. I don't have all of my lights anymore. Um, I only have one ring light, so I'm sorry that it looks different. However, we have our sodas over here. So we have some Sprite, some Orange Crush, Dr. Pepper, and Coca-Cola. And then we also have some cheese. Nanas. 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 Okay, so let me try to get through this. So we also have some tomato sauce as well as cream of mushroom soup. I went ahead and picked up some grapes for the yeah. kids. London's gonna help me clean these tonight. Yeah, like put some water on it too. We also have some eggs because we really need some eggs. And then over here, we just have some drumsticks. What are these right here? A banana sauce, I put some fun in ice cream. Yeah, we got some princess bananas. Again, we got ice cream. We got some bacon over here. We also have some French vanilla pudding, some cereal bars for the kiddos because they cannot survive a morning without their cereal bars. And then we also went ahead and picked up some blueberry pancake and waffle mix. Then here's the bananas. We also have some chicken broth. Right behind here, I just went ahead and picked up some instant rice. This is chicken and broccoli fed flavor. This one is herb and butter. I believe this is just some sweetened condensed milk, some sugar back there. And then we have some okra right here. And then these are just some pola sausages that I'm gonna cook with our greens. And then I have some Cool Whip because I'm gonna make some banana pudding. And then we have three cases of sodas right here. So I have Dr. Pepper, root beer for root beer floats, and then we also have some lemonade tea for the kids. The Dr. Pepper is for me, you guys. I love Dr. Pepper, absolutely love Dr. Pepper. And then I think the only thing I missed out over here was, was the bacon. Oh, no, 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 no. We also got Little Smokies as well because I feel like I haven't ate Little Smokies in a long, long time. So I'm excited to make some pigs in a blanket for the kids. I get so many questions about this, but I use French that vanilla. Is a, this is just a regular vanilla, but I use vanilla pudding or French vanilla pudding to make my banana pudding, but I'll share that in an upcoming video with you guys. Over here we have some peanuts. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. I didn't even know these peanuts were in the cart. Let me know if y'all can relate to y'all kids just throwing stuff in the cart. I mean, I'm happy it's healthy, but London just threw those in the cart, which I'm not really upset about that it's okay so we got london some peanuts and we have some cream cheese what is this pasta ketchup yes this is ketchup what are these right here strawberry strawberry and i don't know what those are asparagus asparagus we got two asparagus yeah and then we got mushrooms and stuff. <laughs> mushrooms what else do we have mm, i don't know what this is grease. Grease and milk and knives and donuts and hot chips. These are my favorite, favorite potato chips ever. Hot? I mean, they are a little spicy, but they're not hot. Not Maybe to you. We have, we do have a jambalaya box set. In the middle of the night, maybe at like two o'clock in the morning, Jake and I will just cook like a seafood boil and sometimes we like to add some jambalaya to it. So we went ahead and picked us up a box of that. That basically completes everything over there. Over here, I share all of that with you guys. So that completes that. I really do need to get the ice creams in the fridge though because those are gonna melt. They've been out for way too long. And then over here, I basically shared all of that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed our small haul. Yeah, I'm putting the groceries up. Bye, Bye Mama. So right now, London is gonna help me this evening while I clean. We like to try and soak all of our fruits and veggies before adding them to the fridge. The key is always just grab and go with the grapes and the strawberries. So London wants to get them all clean for us.
When it comes to our strawberries, we like to just take a straw and just go through the inside of the strawberry. That way we can like kind of get rid of that core. London and Jonah, they will not eat the strawberry if the core is on the inside. So we like to just go ahead, take that out and also take the leaves off the strawberry. That way they can just truly grab and go and eat it as much as they want. And sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. To soak our fruit and vegetables, I like to use the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak. I just use one cap full per gallon like in the sink and I just let it sit for about one to two minutes, rinse them off and then put them in the fridge. This works so good, it tastes so much fresher. I'm telling you guys, I was not a, a true believer in the Thieves before I used it, but I'm telling y'all, I love eating grapes and strawberries after I soak them with the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soak. I don't know, they just taste so much better. If we don't have thieves, I will oftentimes soak our fruits and vegetables in vinegar, but I honestly love using the thieves. I feel like it tastes so much better. I don't like the aftertaste that the vinegar leaves, but with the thieves, you don't have to worry about that. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and get our dining room all clean. We do have a laundry unit nearby so we're going to go ahead and take the clothes there to get them washed. We have been putting all of our laundry in the dining room. It's just been because we have not been able to truly get a grasp on doing our laundry and keeping up with it now that we don't have a washer and dryer inside the home. But things will be changing. I have been looking into getting like a portable washer and dryer. So I'm really excited about that because I have found some really cool portable washers and dryers. But just to keep going, I'm going to go ahead and get the dining room all clean and whenever those times comes, like the portable washer and dryer and doing different things in here, I'll share that whenever the time comes. Here in the dining room, we have these shelves that I love. I don't think I'll be using it as a pantry only because of the placement of the shelves. It would make the space feel smaller, adding the baskets and whatnot. So I'll be adding shelves to our pantry area, sharing that. And then over here, I'm adding decor. And then maybe on the bottom row, I'll add like some bins for extra storage, but not food items, some bins that look more elegant and geared towards decor, but we can also add extra storage. I'll be sharing that. And then I'll also share some ideas that I have for our pantry as well. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down here you make me smile You're the solution Someone
just want to look into your eyes You know you make me feel like I'm alive You are So over here on the other side, we have our own shelving that we got from Target that's holding our microwave, but I'm ready to see that gone. So I'll do that whenever I add our curtains. The pantry area is what I'm excited about the most. We have a shelf to add in here today for more storage space, but we'll be adding more wall shelves and even different doors to open up the space or at least make it feel open. My idea for the doors, I'm so ready to see come to life because it's so different and it's something that I truly haven't seen be done before. So once I was done wiping everything down and sweeping the floor, we just went ahead and called it good on this night and I felt like we had gotten so much stuff done in these two days. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video like I did. I was able to tackle my to-do list and get so many things done. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!